Good morning, dear students of class 8. Welcome to the English online learning class. Today, we are going to take up a new poem, The Last Bargain, from your textbook, Honeydew. And this poem is by the famous poet of India, Rabindranath Tagore. Now, what is a bargain? Well, a bargain is an agreement in which both parties, they promise to do something for each other. Like someone is looking for a job and he waits to be hired so that he can be engaged for the work. And he strikes a bargain but thinks it worth. He tries twice again, but doesn't like either. Finally, in the last bargain, when he is hired for nothing, whatever, he is happy as never before. What is the bargain and why is it the best? So the poem deals with this idea of a worker who is looking for work and wants to be hired so that he can do the work. Come and hire me, I cried. While in the morning, I was walking on the stone paved road. So this worker is going on a stone paved road. He is walking on a stone paved road and he is crying. He is shouting. In the morning, come and take me to do work. Sword in hand, the king came in his chariot. He held my hand and said, I will hire you with my power. So he met a king who was in his chariot. And he said, I am going to take you for work with my power. But his power counted for naught and he went away in his chariot. But the workman, the worker, was not ready to work for power. And the king left. In the heat of the midday, the houses stood with shut doors. Now, it was afternoon and the houses were all closed because everyone was taking rest. I wandered along the crooked lane. So, this worker was walking along the crooked lane. The lanes were not straight. An old man came out with his bag of gold. He pondered and said, I will hire you with my money. So, an old man came out and he had a gold of ba a gold a bag of gold with him. And he thought and said, pondered means thought, and said, I am going to hire you. I am going to offer you money and you come and work for me. He weighed his coins one by one. But I turned away. But the worker was not ready to work for money. Earlier he had refused to work for power and now he has refused to work for money. Now it was evening time. The garden hedge was all flower. The fair maid came out and said, I will hire you with my smile. A beautiful maid came out and uh, there was a garden which was blooming with flowers and she said that I am going to hire you with my smile. Her smile paled and melted into tears. She went back alone into the town. But the workman was not ready to work for her. This bargain did not, was not like by the worker. And finally, 
her smile went away paled and she was in tears and she left into the dark because the workman had previously refused the work to work for the king because he was hiring him for with his power he refused to work for the old man because he was hiring him with money and he refused to work for the maid because she was hiring him with her smile the sun glistened on the sand it was shining on the sand and sea waves broke wavered the sea waves they were touching the shore a child sat playing with a shell there was a small child who was playing with a sea shell he raised his head and seemed to know me and said i will hire you with nothing but this little child with all innocence said that i am going to hire you but instead i will not be hiring you for anything nothing from hence forward that bargain stuck in child's play made me a free man and the workman liked this bargain because it was without a condition and the man was man freely accepted this bargain for to be with the child so this is the last bargain which sounded very attractive for the worker and with pure innocence the bargain was struck between the child and the workman because it was a bond which was without any condition and which made this workman a free because everyone loves freedom now at this we are going to stop this poem and we are going to discuss this poem further in tomorrow's class thank you and have a nice day